everyone my name is abhishek jain and the topic i choose for today's session is how can we configure a node exporter within a prometheus and then from there how can we visualize the node exporter matrix on a grafana as you might be knowing node exporter exposes a wide variety of a matrix matrix related to the networks and the hardware and today in this video we're going to see what are those matrix and how those matrix can help us to monitor the application and the server most of the time in the re, in the in the production environment you will be having a linux and a unix environment but i am using a window machine to just give the demo since i am using a window machine to have a linux and a unix like environment i'll be running a node exporter as a docker container so the prerequisite to continue this video is your docker should be up and running your prometheus and a grafana server should be up and running right so let's start with the demo part so the very first thing you have to do is you have to pull the docker image for node exporter so how how are you going to do it you're going to just put the docker pull prompt node exporter so it's not the other I have already done it so this is the command you have to fire and it will start downloading the latest image let me quickly check whether i have that or not so it's already there for me and once that docker pull command runs without an issue you will be having this image as well so by default node exporter run on 9100 port so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this minus p what it does is it exposes the docker container port to the instance port so inside the docker container it would be running on a 9100 and i am exposing that to the instance port which is also a 9100 and i am going to give the name as the same as node exporter this is going to be the name of my container then i have to give this image id and i have to run this okay so it start running and on the last line you can see it's listening on 9100 Okay, let's quickly check whether it's working fine or not. So to do so, what I have to do is, I have to put, since it is running on our local host, port number is 9100. So if it is running, every, if, if, if there is no problem, there is no error, then you will see this node exporter. And below that, you will see this matrix link. Click on this and you will see all the matrix which it is exposing to us. The important one is which is starting with node. If you will see here, node CPU guest, node CPU second totals. There are a lot of you know the the filters are defined here. Node disk I/O, the node disk I/O time seconds, and we're gonna see how we can integrate this with the Prometheus, right? So to integrate the node exporter within a Prometheus, what you have to do is you have to change the Prometheus YAML file, which contains the actual configuration for your Prometheus. For doing that, what you have to do, you have to go to the location where your Prometheus YAML file resides. Okay, so let me bring in here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So here in a scrap config, a scrap config is something where you actually define what exactly you want to scrap. So here you have to give the configuration related to the node exporter. So by default, you get this for the Prometheus. The moment you start, in, the moment you start the Prometheus, you have this. I have added this Grafana one, right, which is running on 3000. Now we have to configure a node exporter. For that, what we have to do is we have to put this line, which I just highlighted is a job name, colon, then the single quotes node underscore exporter. Then in, inside this, you have to give this a static config, which has the target. So the target uh, means on which particular port your node exporter is running. So that Prometheus can get the information from that particular node that particular port basically sorry right and that's the three lines which you have to add and if you will see these two green line i mean we can just remove them that's not an issue it's just a comment to just explain the things right now we have this uh inside the prometheus yaml what we have to do is we have to just run our prometheus server and i have already run it let's quickly check whether it's running fine or not it's node exporter it's Prometheus one and it seems to be running fine and let's quickly check for the Grafana as well that that is also working so now we're gonna see uh, since we have already updated the YAML files we have to have 
those config hold in, in Prometheus and Prometheus by default run on 9090. So localhost 9090 now we have a Prometheus. Now to check whether our con updated configuration is coming in the Prometheus or not, so what you can do is just come here in a status, click on configuration and you will have a configuration. Here you can see in a scrap config you have a job named Prometheus, then you have a job named Grafana. Now this is the one which we had added and that is related to the node exporter and if you will see it, it is running on 9100. Right. The other thing which you can verify is the targets. Here you can see the targets, right? Node exporter, Grafana, okay. So the next thing which we're gonna see, now we're gonna pick some matrix from here and we're gonna see whether things are appearing on Prometheus correctly or not. So I'm just picking up this one and you can just pick the any one of them and see whether we are getting something or not. We are getting something here, right? Let's quick something else. Okay. Let's quick this IO tank. Okay. Let's put it here. Now what we need to do is now we're gonna pull in the same information in that in Grafana so that we have a more attractive and a user friendly, you know, the representation of these data points which are coming from the node X. So to, to do so, we know that localhost on 3000 port our Grafana runs. The very first thing which I'm going to do is, I'm just going to create the data source. Okay, to create a data source, what I'm going to do is, Prometheus integration, and you can give any name, whatever name you want to give. Integration, Prometheus integration, uh, let's say put node, okay. And the type going to be, Prometheus and it runs on local 9090 that's it this is what you have to do data source array successfully save and test it yeah it's working fine now create a dashboard to create a dashboard I'm just click on a new one come here graph panel title click and add it general give any name let me just give Prometheus Prometheus integration node Then come here, uh, here in default we have to select the data source, we're gonna select the Prometheus integration node which we had added. Here what you have to do is in other uh, data sources we have to write the queries but Prometheus seems to be more easy to use here. We can pick this particular matrix and we just need, need to give a name here and just run it. The moment you just click on it you will see the graph here. Right? Similarly what we can do is we can pick some other matrix name. Let's pick node discrete. Okay. And what we can do is we can add another graph. Right? Add another graph. I just click on that. The another thing, add it. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna again select the okay. Put this two and one again. Again, now we got the different one. Now pick the another one. This, this, not this. Let's pick something else. Let's pick file system bytes available. And see what we're gonna get here. Pick this. Add another row. Bring it here. Click on here again. Add it. Come to the source. So that is how you can keep adding all the matrix. So whatever matrix you are interested in, you can just bring in and you can just do it. So that is how you can configure the inf configure the node exporter within a Prometheus and from there you can pull the information on Grafana, right? And now since I have just explained you everything on a window machine, and but most of the time you will be utilizing this uh, this this tool these tools on Lin uh, on to monitor your Linux server or the Unix server. So let me know if you want me to come up with a video. How can you set up you know the Node Exporter Prometheus Grafana on the Linux machine? I'll be doing for you. So that's it from my side. Thanks for watching this. As always, if you have any feedback or comment, please feel free to put in a comment section. And if you want me to incorporate any feedback through which I can just you know improve my videos and improve my content please feel free to provide that feedback and be more than happy to interpret them thanks for watching